Hello, this is Professor Dan Kernler of Elgin Community College, back with another video in my statistics series. In this series, we're comparing two population variances. All right, let's get to it. Now, you might recall one of the previous videos we talked about um, the average age men or women realize their sexual orientation. This was in our LGB Life and Health database. I'll put that link in the description. Um, you might not recall, though, there was this detail that with the test statistic, it assumed that the variances were different. And we talked about this pooled t-test where we could try to assume equal variances, but we'd have to test that first. Um, and it's, it's strict. There's some strict requirements here that the two populations must be normally distributed. Well, we're at that point now. That's the test we're going to look at in this video. Now, my first thought here was to, to continue with this example and do a test that the variances were equal. Now, our requirement is that the populations must be normally distributed. Oh, those are skewed right. Okay, can't do that. Then I thought about our Children of Immigrants database. I can put that one in, in the description as well. We have this monthly earnings. I thought maybe we can compare how spread out it is for citizens versus those who are not citizens. So here are those histograms. Also skewed right and they're outliers. So, so that's no good. What about our schools? We could compare Title I schools with non-Title I schools. Remember, Title I are the ones with uh, a high proportion of students who um, are low income. And maybe we could compare the SAT scores. We could look at the distribution of the average SAT scores. So I've got those here. <sighs> kind of, but not really bell-shaped. So that one's no good. The, the best I could find is comparing um, boys and girls and their heights. Heights we know are normally distributed. If we look here in these histograms, we're just it's the closest I could find. So we're going to say good enough that they're pretty normally distributed. And so we're going to see if the variances are the same. Our question formally is, are the heights of school-aged girls and boys similarly distributed? Like, do they have equal variances? Now, in order to do this analysis, we need another statistic. And this is going to involve something called the F distribution. There's a statistic where it is the ratio of the two sample variances. That follows the F distribution. And there's an F calculator in StatCrunch. We could do critical values and all that, but we're just going to use it as another test statistic. And then StatCrunch is going to give us a p-value uh, for that hypothesis test. So this is going to be our test statistic. Now, this does assume that both populations are normally distributed. It's a pretty strict condition, so they have to look pretty normally distributed in order for you to do this hypothesis test. So let's jump in and try it. We've got our null hypothesis is that the two variances are equal. The variance uh, for girls is equal to the variance for boys. Uh, our alternative, we're just kind of wondering, well, are they? do they have equal variances? So the alternative would be that they're not equal to. So it's not a greater than or a less than here. It's just a not equal to. You know our alpha, we'll just continue with our 0.05. Our test statistic, again, this is that F test statistic. Now, we certainly could compute the variance of one, compute the variance of the other, and take the ratio. We're just going to do this in StatCrunch. In StatCrunch, it's stats, variance stats, two sample with data. And then for the first one, we want to do heights, and then we want to choose where gender equals female, because we had girls were first, even though it's not... Super important here because it's not equal to, but but we're going to do girls first. And then the second one would be heights where gender equals male. We're doing a hypothesis test. The null hypothesis is that the ratio is equal to one. So they're the same. And the alternative is that it is not equal to one. Our F statistic then is about 0 0.6, 0 0.595. The P value here, we get less than 0 0.0001. So our decision, we would reject the null hypothesis. We got a low P value. Our conclusion then, there is enough evidence to support the claim that the variances are different. And in fact, if you look at those histograms, you can see the standard deviation of the girls, they're much more condensed than the boys. So the, the girls are less spread out. Their heights are more condensed than the boy heights. And that is it for this video. This was a really short one. Once you get these hypothesis tests and how they work, you just learn a new, new test. What's the 
statistic for this one, um, run it through StatCrunch and get your output. You kind of get used to the same pattern of those same six steps. So I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in seeing more, you can subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. We'll have a whole series of these. As always, thank you to the Elgin Community College Board of Trustees for approving my sabbatical during the spring 2021 semester. That's what gave me the time to make all of these videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.